There was a time when a man took pride in his work. Whether it was running a business or performing labor, a man's work identified him. But then, in those days society took pride in its men too. There was a time when companies valued their employees. That ship sailed a long time ago. Now, they just farm the masses for everything they can get. Nobody should feel any loyalty to these billionaire psychopaths that care nothing about them. It's King Dollar. It's also simple mobility, or the ability to quit and come back next summer for another one. King Dollar used to be very powerful, and earning them and the potential to live like a king in another country was very appealing. Even a dishwasher could save up for the summer and take off for good times. The second is mobility. A fast food job or anything equivalent always promoted those willing to stick around. So even a loser could become a manager and do pretty good. And if you wanted more, college, skills, a trade, those jobs always wanted the summer worker or part-time person. This new form of communism and endless money printing has ruined that. I feel sorry for younger people who will never understand the importance or empowerment of those low-level jobs in earning king dollars and saving them. The Fed is preventing a normal cycle by printing money. You can't prevent a collapse of a system kept alive or even flourishing by means of creating ever more debt. The only thing you can do is postpone the collapse, by creating more debt at the cost of ever increasing the final pain when the inevitable collapse will happen. Stocks have reached a permanently high plateau. The American economy has been bottom bouncing ever since 2008. The problem is, Americans have become accustomed to it, and have accepted our current dilemma as something normal. They are blaming the current downturn on the virus, but if you look back at the economic figures from the first of last year, the economy was heading back into the toilet in 2018-2019 before the coronavirus ever showed up in America. And, Americans have forgotten what it was like back in the 1950s to 1960s, or even the 1990s. The economy then was far more robust and resilient than than what it is now. The Fed is the only one buying treasuries. No sane person with park money and treasuries knowing you're going to lose money. What's the actual inflation rate again? Oh yeah like 20% annualized. Buying a bond at these rates is essentially the equivalent of throwing all of your cash into a paper shredder after adjusting for real inflation. Official inflation running 5-6%, to highest in 45 years and talk of 10 year a yield at 1%, reverse repos with banks for bills near $1 trillion, money supply growth highest in 160 years, this is biggest bond market bubble ever, when it collapses or rationality sinks in, Fisher effect, will not be nice. Crazy to hold debt. Negative yields are on the horizon. Every day the Fed's control of the markets is getting weaker and weaker. One day it all collapses. It is Japan 1989 all over again. Trickle-down economics has always worked exactly as planned. Since they put us on trickle down in the 1980s, the net worth of the wealthiest Americans has gone up 437% and the net worth of the average American has gone down 8%. All just as planned. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you. They're going to have the rename this the greatest recession because this one is going to be worse. We are going to have a dollar crisis. The average American is going to suffer much more this time. This thing is probably going to blow up. QE is only kicking the can a little further. The bubble wasn't expected to get this big, when it goes off it will be mother of all bubbles. The Fed reduced interest rates for the first time since 2008. The crash is already here on the extremely high end of the market and the average person will feel it sometime next year. The next recession will be the dimming of civilization. The system itself is flawed and corrupt to the core, thanks to fancy sociopathic financiers. Someone had to borrow at usury to bring that money, checkbook balances, bills and coins, into existence. The money goes out of existence as the usury and the debt principal are paid back to the bank. These amounts are huge. Several billion dollars go out of existence each day. If the money is not replaced with new loans, a shortage occurs. Soon individuals and businesses experience serious cash flow problems. These result in more and more loan applications to banks, the only place where money is being created to replenish the supply. Here is my solution to this mess. Number 1. 
To hell with fractional reserve debt-based banking constitutional amendment rescind the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 and rename existing Federal Reserve notes and checkbook balances in all U.S. banking and credit creating institutions on a one-to-one -one basis, as U.S. Treasury dollars and U.S. Treasury denominated bank balances. All currently existing financial contracts in the Federal Reserve banking system, including United States Treasury bonds, remain in effect. Payments of principal and interest on loan contracts in existence at the time of enactment of the amendment are distributed at the end of each fiscal year to individual deposit holders at the banking institutions holding the contracts, proportionate to the minimum daily balance and the length of time the balance was maintained during the fiscal year. Number 2. Henceforward, credit creation by banking and financial institutions in the United States is prohibited. Loans are required to originate from previous savings of U.S. Treasury dollar notes and U.S. Treasury denominated bank balances which are to be held in and paid from specific sequestered accounts designated solely for lending by the various financial institutions, with interest charges and term limits to be determined solely by the contracting parties. Non-cash reserves held in the regional Federal Reserve Banks in accounts of the member institutions of the Federal Reserve System no longer form the basis for credit creation and are extinguished via accounting erasure. Cash reserves held by individual banks become the property of the respective institutions. Regional Federal Reserve Banks continue to provide check clearing operations for the member banks. Number 3. Fund the U.S. government directly via Treasury-issued currency authorized by the Congress in its yearly federal budget. The borrowing of money from banking institutions to pay for federal government expenditures, including the issuance of Treasury notes and bonds to the Federal Reserve System of banks, financial institutions, or individuals, is prohibited. Number 4. Abolish the federal income tax on individuals, corporations, and business enterprises while maintaining a social security tax on individual incomes, and institute a federal sales tax with a varying yearly tax rate adjusted by the U.S. Congress in session, the sole aim of such adjustments being to maintain a stable or decreasing consumer price index based on data collected by the federal government. Any such sales taxes taken in by the federal government are extinguished from the currency supply to keep the consumer price index stable or decreasing and are not utilized for further funding. The 16th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution is hereby rescinded. Number 5. Clause 1. Article 1. Section 8 of the U.S. Constitution is amended to read as follows. The Congress shall have power to collect customs duties on imports, uniformly applied throughout the United States. Number 6. Clause 2, Article 1, Section 8 of the U.S. Constitution is rescinded. Number 7. The adoption of this amendment does not prohibit the use by the citizens of the United States of any alternative currencies they should choose to use in their private or commercial transactions. The economic system has three cycles recession recovery prosperity. It repeats the same think over and over. So what is the secret to getting lots of money in the next recession is, and how you can profit from it? Number 1 invest after the recession you make your money when you buy not when you sell jumping on the bandwagon on the way up is a recipe for disaster ride the bubble up sell when fear settles in three to ten years later depending sell and then hold cash or precious while market falls once bottom is established pick your best stock choices when recovery plan is implemented or when market starts to move up five to one point five years later Invest everything cash into stocks, 3 to 5 years later money quadruples. Sell when fear, recession returns and repeat. You can retire off this alone if done right. Number 2. Get out of fiat currency that has nothing to back it, into another piece of paper that claims to have gold backing, but doesn't. Number 3. Take all your money out of banks and buy gold, silver, land, crypto and art according to the super wealthy. And I would keep some emergency food too. Number 4. When the baby boomers start to die, which they already are, I am referring to the bell curve of deaths in the baby boomer population. The peak of baby boomer deaths is the time when you should start shorting the housing market. However, if the government bails out the banks again you lose. And Number 5. Join the Congress. Yes join the Congress, become a politician. They can inside trade legally, you make millions, and the beauty is the media are in on it too. They cover it all up by not reporting on it. Just go ahead and look at the net worth of these multi-decade senators. They will say that it is not a crime to make wise investments. 
I have literally heard a congresswoman say those words when asked about her multi-million dollar house. The money lords in their ivory towers with everything to spend can hover above the current crises that they caused in the first place. This was the Atlantis report. Please like, share, leave me a comment, subscribe, and please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.